Several outreaches by the government to East Coast Demerara communities in recent months culminated with a massive contract signing on Monday to the tune of $7.8 billion. The contracts are for the upgrading of a total of 222 roads in several villages. Accompanied by Attorney General Alal Nandlal, Minister within the Ministry of Public Works Diodat Indar witnessed the signing of the contracts at the Luziknan Community Centre. The contracts were signed by Permanent Secretary of the Ministry Vladim Prasad. Minister Indar regarded the activity as unprecedented. This is phase one, phase one of this program. Because subsequent to this, there will be another signing to deal with the remainder of the 300 roads. This is 300 in total we have to do, right? How much are we doing right now, Andy? 222. And we'll do the other, the balance of it very shortly. Now, I wanted to say that the roads that we are doing here stretches for the entire East Coast, straight up to Mahaika. This new tranche of roadworks will raise government's road construction program to approximately 4,000 roads since 2020, while stressing the need for the contractors to utilize materials that pass specification requirements. He urged adherents to project timelines as to minimize inconvenience to citizens. Meanwhile, Nandlal reminded residents that the projects were identified based on the needs and the population size of the communities. That out of the 222 now. Let me look at Buxton got 23 and Annandale got one. Industry got one and Haslington got 13. That's what, it, that's what the document says. But it doesn't say that we did 10 in Annandale already. And we did how many more in industry already? So when you pluck these figures out, I can also create a very false narrative and still be factual. Imagine if I'm to tell you in isolation that out of this 222, Boxton get 23 and Annandale get one. I am from Annandale. The road projects complement the 300 roads in Region 6 and another 100 in the east bank of the Marara, forming a comprehensive infrastructural network. For the newsroom, Kurt Campbell.